The next thing we're going to check is connecting rod side clearance. This is very important because too much side clearance uh, between rods or between the rods and uh, the ends of the journals and we won't be able to maintain oil pressure. If we don't have enough, we're not going to have room for expansion, so we have to check this and make sure that it's right. The clearance that I'm actually talking about, if I move this, back, this rod back and forth, where you can hear that little bit of a click, we're talking about the clearance in between the end of the rod and here at the end of the journal with the crank casting. There's two different ways that we can check this. The first way that we're going to do is with feeler gauges, and we're going to do this much in the same way that we check um, deck surface straightness, main saddle alignment, um, piston ring side clearance, end gap, same idea. We're going to put different thicknesses of feeler gauges in between the clearance that we're trying to member or measure, and we are going to move them back and forth and see how much drag we get. So I've got a set of feeler gauges here. Looking at my spec uh, for the 2GRFE engine, we have a spec that starts at 5 thou and 9 10 thou to a maximum of 19 thou and 7 10 thou. So on both ends, this falls outside of our general spec. Generally, we say we want to see between 12 and 15 thousandths of an inch in side clearance. I'm going to start on the lower end with the 5 thou feeler blade. Fits in there no problem. No resistance whatsoever. So my clearance is obviously larger than that. I'm going to jump up two to a seven. Once again, I'm not feeling any drag. Jump up to a ten. Now a 10 fits in there, but it's too tight. I really got to work to move this thing back and forth. So I'm going to start backing off a little bit. I've kind of identified the range I'm working in here. I'm going to drop down to a 9. And that feels really good to me. 10 was too tight, but 9 gives me just a nice little amount of drag there. I'm going to go ahead and call this 9 thou. Now, Toyota, if you look at their service information, they ask you to do this a little differently. They do not use feeler blades. They use a dial indicator. And they don't call this pist or, uh, connecting rod side clearance. They call it connecting rod thrust clearance. So to check this the way Toyota wants you to, you're going to take a dial indicator, attach it to your block, so I've zoomed right into the dial indicator face, I haven't moved it at all, but I want to make sure that you can see exactly what I'm doing here. So what I'm going to do is rock the connecting rod back and forth so we can see the sweep. To take a measurement, I don't really have to do this, but I'm going to just to be clear. What I've done is I've moved the connecting rod all the way as far as it would go in one direction, and I want to zero my indicator there. Now this dial indicator reads in one thousandths of an inch, so each increment on the scale is going to represent one thou. So I've got it zeroed to the far extreme, to the right from where I'm standing, and when I move to the left, I can see the full sweep. So you can see this is indicating about nine thousandths of an inch. Which is about what we figured with the feeler gauge.